my goal on this channel is not to make any african country look bad but the goal of this channel is to promote every single african country in a positive light to the world the goal of this channel is to encourage more africans to travel within their own continent because i believe that africa belongs to africans and it's time for africans to cherish it But sometimes the struggles of an African trying to explore their own continent breaks my heart. Things like this that happens at our borders always breaks my heart. I've been deported in an African country. I have been arrested in an African country. I don't know when at all will an African love himself because if you treat me bad, you are treating your own self bad because we are just one people. I wonder why we are just one people, but borders like this keeps on separating us. Can I ask you a question? You don't think we need to change this as Africans? Change what? I I'm from Ghana, yeah? I'm going to a neighboring country, which is Togo, and I have to pass through so many no. documentation your, before I cross. On your way back, yeah? stop by and have this conversation because you will be depressed. I'm telling you. I'll be depressed going in. You'll be depressed going from here to cross the uh, Ghana Togo side and cross the Togo Benin side and on your way back. When she said that, I thought she was joking. But believe me or not, it's more than a nightmare. It, it tells a pitiful story of who we are. That we can continue blaming colonialists for all we want. But they've been gone for so long. We need to wake up and smell the coffee. Thank you. We need to wake up. All this uh, seemingly uh, uh, kind of hand cooked things that we are doing business in against ourselves. It's depressing, really. Truly, truly depressing. I'm, I'm, look, I'm willing to break a few protocols speaking the way I'm doing because it's dear to my heart. I, I, I'm a member of the committee that uh, ECOWAS has set up to look at the, repar the reparation of stolen goods of Africa. And we had a meeting in Benin. And I went as a, as a guest of ECOWAS. You have no idea. Even as guest of ECOWAS, I thought that we could do better. And we can do better. The excuses are too much. When they all go and sit down in ECOWAS on our behalf, I expect them to do better than they are doing. I expect our leaders, our presidents, I expect all of you to do better than you're doing. You owe it to us as your citizens, and we are demanding that you do right by us. Pure and simple. Pure and simple. Thank you for this. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. You because have I, to I've, get been, down. I've been advocating have to... for, I mean, free movement on Africa for yeah. quite a long time. I mean, look at Europe. Look at Europe. Look at America. Borderless. Can you imagine? 51 countries. And here, State. just because I speak a different foreign language, foreign language, what the language that binds uh, four countries, Ghana, Togo, Benin, and Nigeria, the language that binds us is Ava. There are people who speak my language in Nigeria. So they are members of the committee that ECOWAS, has, uh, AU, has set up. And currently, I am the interim chair of the EVA Commission. The EVA Commission has four countries in it, and all of us have that common language. Why the heck should the foreign language matter? Just because I can't speak French, they have to terrorize me and make me feel so bad. And just because they can't speak English, we have to terrorize them and make them feel bad. We need to emancipate ourselves from mental slavery. This is mental slavery. This is indeed a mental slavery. And I wish Africans can understand that we are just one people that we're divided by borders. And it's about time we start loving ourselves as a nation. There's no reason. Look, I can't. There, there's a young lady here called Sophie. Mm. She makes the best yam food. Mm. Eh? We don't eat cassava and plantain. Yeah. We eat yam food. Yeah. Even if I want to go and eat Sophie's food, I have to go through a lot of protocol to go and eat food. I'm an obvious body. I'm an obvious body. I'm a very clever, very clever. I could do my own. I let you look more. 
Ye ha approach kwana no ma. Ba like why? Same people. Same, same language, same food, same same dance, same everything. Culture. But we've been divided I, by this border. Yes, this thing, this thing. This they thing. suffer for here. This thing. Wonderful, we're being delayed yeah, here at the border, See, and they're having us come in there. I became a Ghanaian citizen, mm -hmm. and I got my ECOWAS card. Now, what are they doing? Right, See, they're not letting us. Across I, I don't the even border. know because even me, they're no. holding me. Shut I'm up. serious. They're holding How me. Is that possible? It's, it's, See, it's possible. They are holding mm -hmm. with Amaya. I love the fact that the diasporans are connecting back to the motherland, and it's time for the government of Africa to create a system that really supports the diasporans coming back home. Because whenever they come back home, they want to feel at home because they've been through a lot in the diaspora. You don't expect them to be going through racism in the diaspora, and when they come back to Africa, they go through discrimination. This is what we're trying to avoid if we are telling our brothers and sisters to come back home. So most of you will be wondering what really happened. This is our flower border. I was on my way to Benin to go for the voodoo festival that is happening in Weda. I hope we are not going to Weda. Are you going to Weda? So we are going for the festival. Oh, wow. So as a Ghanaian with ECOWAS passport, I need to just Cross the border with no issues by just getting my stamp. I had all the documents for my car and everything, but that alone, we had to spend over one hour at the Ghana border, which I think it was even way smoother. It's just that the process was a bit tedious. This whole process is frustrating, man. Like, we spent our one hour already, and nothing is happening. We had to go um, stamp our passport. We stamp our passport from the Ghana part. We have to go um, register the car. We've done that already. And they are saying that we cannot move if we don't show them the paper. So it's like he has the tread over there, you see? So he's like, he's arguing, like, what's going on? This guy is like, he needs a paper before he allows him to pass. But I've already taken the paper from us already. Like, we are in Africa, yeah? And we're struggling, like, this is mental slavery man but right after that that is when all the wahala happened when we were trying to get a stamp from the togo border just to enter togo then from togo to Benin. so now we're done with the ghana side we are about to face another wahala at the, uh, the togo side this is crazy man huh? what does it say According to the law, citizens of uh, members of countries of economic, okay, the ECOWAS have the right to travel. Yeah, of course. Uh huh. Yeah. Exactly. But what are they telling you? That you got to pay. But it's saying that it's, but they're saying and that no they receipt. can't enforce it. <laughs> no receipt. No receipt. That's what they're saying. They cannot enforce it. Okay. So we, are, we, are, we are also going to check it out right now and then I will let you know what happens, man. So okay. how much did you pay? Zero. You didn't pay? Apparently, at the Togo border, they will not stamp your passport if you don't give them 2,000 safer. Did they ask you out for money? Yes. yes. So, did you pay for it? No. Yes. Some of you paid. No receipt. No, no, no receipt. No receipt. No. Even, even, even with an ECOWAS. Yes. Then I have to challenge that I'm not going to pay because okay. I have an ECOWAS passport. I'm sending uh -huh. your picture to Mama Vera. Oh, do that. Okay. <laughs> which I have no problem paying the 2,000, but the problem that I had, the fact that they said no receipt for paying 2,000 francs. I was there and I saw a lot of people queuing and all these people are waiting to pay the 2,000. Those who don't have 2,000 get stuck at the border. I, I, I don't understand this, like this is um, the Togo, ambassador, Togo border and they are telling us that we have to pay 2,000 for each passport and you don't pay 
we are not stamping your passport and when you stamp your passport no receipt but according to the ECOWAS law if you have an ECOWAS passport it's okay for you to pass through so so she wants to Member countries to 90 days, they have been subject to any form of harassment, nor must they pay for a residential permit. You are breaking the law. You are breaking the law. So now we we finish. This is crazy, and she's like, I'm not going to take your passport if you don't give me two thousand. They saw me narrating what happened on camera and all of them were super scared and they grabbed my camera and that caused the chaos. I had to fight for myself because even the Ghana immigration border were saying that Maya I'm so sorry, I wish I can help you, but what happens in Ghana stays in Ghana and what happens in Togo stays in Togo. So he has no power. So I had to hold my camera, stand firm, and I said, I'm not giving you this camera today, not tomorrow. <laughs> They said because of the video, that's why they they called to some. No, 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 no. We talk about our rights. We not talk about any video. We talk about our rights. The people who are red have was caught. We've already talked about it. They should not let our sister out, and they should not go back. We have elders here. You people yes. are extorting money from elders? That's yes, extorting. I'm 78 years, years old. You asked you me for money, and I've been a Ghanaian citizen We're for a long time. We're all white people. Y'all need citizen. to stop that nonsense. That. You are no better than us. We are no better than you. We are white people. You got to stop but the ignorance. Get that. You yeah. need to stop that they ignorance. Who taught French. you that nonsense? They're not what French. What parent taught you that nonsense? They think they're French. But listen, the reason why we do such videos is to change what happens at our border post. I'm not here to make any country look bad, but I believe that the president of Togo and the president of ECOWAS, I mean the chairperson of ECOWAS, who happens to be my president, Your Excellency Nanado Dankwa, I think something must be done at this Aflao border because to so many people, they are scared of using that border. So in order to resolve the chaos, I was called into another room by the director of the immigration officers. I think he's really a great man because he resolved the issue peacefully. Yes, and there's no pictures being taken. Whilst we're trying to resolve the issue peacefully, I saw my fellow sisters right behind the gates chanting, let him go. Let him go. Go! Let him go! This got me emotional to see Africans living in the diaspora fighting on my behalf on the right cause because this is what we need as Africans. We all need to come together and fight what is wrong. For me, I'm being a scapegoat just for the next people that will be traveling to Togo. I don't want them to pay that 2,000 francs. I think it's not even Togo that is this is happening. From Togo to Beni border or even Beni to Togo border or whatever any border that you know let me know your experience in african borders because we need to change this with this video that's why i'm pleading with you all share this video on any platform that you can and tag anyone that you think needs to see this video because this must change now Hi, good to see you. Hi, wow. <laughs> good to see you. Glad we came and Thanks for came and had you. Yeah. Yeah. So, have an army. Yeah. 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 Have an army. Wow. I still can't believe that in 2023, an African needs to spend more money to explore their own continent. If I say more money, you have to spend more money on flights, more money on your accommodation, more money by bribing officials to get your way into another African country. When at all will an African will be liberated? 
when at all will an African from Ghana will just pack his bag and say that I'm going to Togo without being exploited? When at all as a young African can sit in a train from Ghana and say that I'm going to Benin to explore another African country? Sometimes I wonder if the AU still exists. I wonder if the ECOWAS even functions. I wonder if the Sadiq region listened to the youth of Africa. I sometimes don't get it. Most of the time, if I come in here to advocate for borderless Africa, it's not because I'm going mad. It's not because I'm doing this for personal gains. As an African traveling in Africa to promote Africa to the world, certain things are obstacles, and I wish to see more Africans exploring their own African country without all these restrictions. I'm speaking straight from the heart because we've had enough. Enough is enough. I don't know if African leaders watch my video, but do me a favor if you're watching this video, I want you to like this video, share this video, tag any African leader because enough is enough. What happened to the African passport? What happens to an African getting visa on arrival as soon as he enters into another African country? Africa belongs to Africans and no one else. Can you believe that someone from North America can come to Africa without a visa? Yet, an African from Africa cannot even travel from one African country without visas. Why are we our own enemies? I think we need to start having such conversations on the continent because we are tired. If I want to marry from Kenya, it's okay. I should just wake up one day and go to Kenya and get a wife without any restrictions. These borderless are not our own creation. It was not created to benefit an African. It was created by a colonizer, yet the colonizers are gone. But still, Africans leading the continent are not ready to change this seamless border that we see every single day. And as I was telling another gathering, you know, these borders, and I also mentioned to my brother, these borders that you create silos for yourselves amongst, you must always remember, are not your creation. These were creations of people outside of this continent who made these borders not to develop you, but to extract from you. Now that you want to develop yourself, we must start looking at these borders and we must start removing the barriers that we have put, that have defined and de defined us in the past, and now hinder us from being the giant that we should be. It's super sad. I mean, if you want to do business in Africa, business is not done in a vacuum. You cannot trade within a vacuum. It's people who trade. So movement of people is what we call trading. You need each other and you need to support each other. And as I always state, you are not competitors. And I think the big mistake we have made is by making each other competitors. We are not competing. We have yet to satisfy our respective markets. Our problem is that we are not working closer together to meet the demands that our people have. Final message to everyone watching this video. Yes. I know. Tell them something. We should be able to pass through Africa freely as black people, period. We don't have to stop at borders. We came all the way across the water to get here. We do not have to cross borders like this and pay every single time. That's my final word to you. But I would like to say we all have our proper ID. We should not have to stay here at the Ghana border. What am I? And we're all Ghanaians. We should be able to pass on to the Togo border. How long have we been here? We've and been here for hours. Two hours. Two hours. Two hours. And if we have our papers in order, you know, we're right. We shouldn't have to uh, stop here on this end as opposed to waiting until we get to uh, Togo. What, what, what's the purpose of the ECOWAS card? What is the purpose? Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next Benin vlog.